question for oral answer and the first question is in the name of the right honourable Winston Peters. Thank you Mr Speaker. This question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he stand by all his statements? Right honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker yes. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. Uh, when he said on 25 September 2012 that he was not briefed on who would be involved in the Kim.com raid saying, quotes, the activity in question did not require a ministerial warrant, and I am not briefed on operational matters on every operation that undertakes. End of quotes. Was he telling the truth? Right honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Thank you very much. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. When he was asked on 25 September 2012 regarding when he was first briefed about the ministerial certificate that the Deputy Prime Minister signed on his behalf, and he answered, quotes, last night, end of quotes. Was he telling the truth? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Again, thank you very much. When he replied... Supplementary question, right, Honourable Winston Peters. When he replied to a question on 26 September 2012 on when other agencies knew about the GCSP's involvement in the Kim.com case, and I quote him, I am simply not in a position to understand whether those organisations knew that or not. What I do know is that the first I was aware of it was on Monday, 17 September. Whether those other organisations had some information, I am not sure. End of quotes. Was he telling the truth? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, yes. Supplementary question. On Supplementary 8 September, question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. On 8 September 2011, when he said in regards to the appointment of Mr Ian Fletcher as the director of the GCSB, and I quote him, Mr. Fletcher has extensive policy and operational experience. And further, Mr. Fletcher is a skilled leader who will make a valuable contribution to the Bureau and wider New Zealand intelligence community. In the quotes, does he stand by those statements? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, yes. Question number two, David Shearer. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister, does he stand by all his statements?